Welcome again to this session everyone. In this quick session, we are going to talk about configuring bind to accept the DNS request. Once the DNS bind packages are installed, which we already done, next steps to enable the DNS configuration to accept traffic on uh, port 53 for that DNS server IP. In our lab setup, we got uh, 192.168.1.200 as our DNS server IP. To perform the changes, manually added the etc name.com file. You can see like what is the before editing and what is the after editing. Basically, we are just allowing this particular IP so that uh, bind can listen on port 53 on this one. After that, we are changing a low query. A low query basically right now, the default setting is localhost when you initially install bind package. Localhost mean name resolution will happen locally. So it will not uh, accept request from uh, outer world or outside of your system. To allow it to accept request from anywhere, you have to say a low query, any, any mean from anywhere. And whenever you make any change, make sure you are restarting the service. So simply start this, stop the service first before doing your modification. Start the service, check the status, everything is green. Let's do this configuration changes quickly. But uh, after that, one important thing, you have to check with netstat minus, you can use ANTU or whatever switch you think that's appropriate uh, for you. I'm using ANTU to grab for port 53. It should be telling you like uh, your IP, which is 192.168.1.200 in our case, is listening on port 53 for both UDP as well as TCP. So let's begin the lab. So first thing, I have to make sure named service is not running. So system CTL status named. It is running because we started it in the last section. So let's quickly stop it. It stopped, so let's check status. That's good, it stopped. So first, let's take backup of etcname.com. So I'm going to use cp-p etcname.com. I'm taking this backup as original because this is original file which was delivered with the uh, bind package. So let's vim this file. Here, as I mentioned, we have to make small changes. Listen on port is right now 53 uh, is local host IP. I'm saying at my DNS server IP 192.168.1.200 and it should be ended with this call. And here I'm not uh, configuring IPv6, so I'm not updating this particular entry. In case you are using IPv6, you can update this entry too. A low query right now it's localhost. I'm going to get rid of localhost and going to replace it with any. That looks good to me. Let's save this file. It's done. Let's verify the content quickly. You can see it got our IP address 1.200. And here let's check a low query thing. It should be any, it's any, everything is good. Uh, I'm not sure if you have seen this IP on my machine or not. Let me show it quickly. IP enter. This is it one which got this particular IP 200. And this is interface which I will be using for my DNS communications. So guys, uh, so far we are good. So let's start the DNS service quickly. As I mentioned, uh, when I use word DNS or bind, or name they are same in this lab setup so here system ctl enable name dot service it was already enabled but i have just pasted a command from my document so let's check start it started let's check status now you can see it's active and running that's good as i promised in last section we have to do a couple of things to check and map connectivity which Absolutely, I still remember and I'm going to do that uh, in a couple of seconds. So let's uh, use netstat minus antu first and uh, to ensure the system is listening on port 53. You can see this particular IP 192.168.200. It is listening on port 53. It is in listening mode from anywhere. For TCP, 
and similar thing you can notice here for UDP so we are good so we are good let's check nmap connectivity now it should be working nmap minus p port 53 and 192.168.1.200 enter you can see right now it's open because we have just updated dns service configuration to listen on this ip ending with dot 200 we are good let's check udp connectivity too so as i mentioned minus low case l capital case u you can see it's open so guys we are good so our bind server or name server is configured to accept all the request on port 53 on ip 192.168.1.200 so that's all in this session and uh, in next session we are going to talk about uh, configuring the zone file for bind server stay tuned thank you guys